Hello. Uh, in this video, I really want to talk about the uh, the best quote ever, 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 ever that I've heard of and why I think it's so good and why I like it. Before I begin, down below <clears throat> in the description, there's a link. And if you do click on it, uh, there's actually training on how someone like yourself can make some uh, really good money um, using social media and the Internet. Now, uh, lately, I've been listening to a lot of uh, Gary V. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. Uh, he's a very successful guy. He's an immigrant uh, from Russia, moved to America, uh, basically an entrepreneur for a lot of his life. Uh, even as a kid, he had his little Hot Wheels and he was out, you know, lemonade stands. He got his friends to make lemonade and sell it. And he would be looking at the corners in New York where people's attention was. So he would put up a lemonade stand and then he worked for his dad, which he hated. And then he started uh, the, the wine library, selling wine online he's moved to a lot to social media and he's a very smart guy very very successful um and he's very motivational if you ever listen to his channel he's just like uh you know he's just like so driven it's insane i'm like i was wondering why is this guy so driven he's got a lot of money what's what, what's he doing you know and uh, i guess it has to do with he wants to buy the new york jets which is like uh it was like a billion dollars or some insane amount of money uh but he, he should get he definitely get there uh, but I guess it has to do with uh, his mom. Like I think he, she hand stitched a jersey or jacket, the Jets jersey one. That's his most prized possession, he says, and because they didn't have any money, I guess supposedly. So that's been, you know, he just loves the the journey of getting there, the grind and failing. He loves to fail, which I thought was pretty interesting way he looks at things. Um, and so that's why he just, you know, he's driven to get there. Um, so he loves being an entrepreneur. All right. Anyways, um, so I was listening to his uh, YouTube channel um, last couple of days, actually, and uh, he said something that was very interesting, which I really, really liked. And I want to share with you is when you overthink things, you are slow, and when you are slow, people pass you. What do you think, huh? And quality really comes down to someone's ego, okay? And um, I don't know. What do you think? You think that's really good? I think it's really, really good. Definitely one of my most favorite quotes, and I'll explain a little bit why. There's a lot of truth to it. <clears throat> I remember uh, a long time ago, <clears throat> I used to have a, a YouTube channel, excuse me, <clears throat> and um, I uh, I would make a video, and I would as soon as I uh, I made it, I would watch it, and I'm like, oh, I don't like the way I, I don't like the way I said that, you know. So I'd make another one, and guess what? That wasn't perfect either. So I was looking at it, I'm like, oh. Man. <laughs> And I would remake it. I would get all frustrated because it wasn't completely perfect. Um, so I just kind of now I just kind of throw the stuff out there, and it's much much better. Uh, and uh, I'll just kind of overthink things in a lot of ways. And his whole attitude, Gary V, it comes down to uh, you know put co put content out there. It's all about speed and volume, and quality is the third thing. But it's mostly just putting stuff out there. And it also reminds me of another really good saying that I. I learned a long time ago what I liked, and that was uh, shoot first and aim second when it comes to marketing. Okay, um, obviously doesn't apply like real guns. <laughs> no, no, no. But just in marketing and, and social media and uh, you know figuring stuff out. Um, yeah, I think it does apply to a lot of things in business too. In some ways, I think uh, you know people in business they they fail they they make mistakes you know the school test the school system if you think about it on, on a bigger level I was thinking about this that they kind of train you not to fail and you want the A you don't want like you don't want to screw up and it and when you look at an entrepreneur you know it's the guy who's jumps off of a cliff first and then figures out how to put a back how to put the parachute on when he's coming down or something you know it's just a little bit it's a different way of looking at things um. Another very interesting thing that um, Gary talked about, which I want to share with you and kind of, you know, elaborate on. He talks about, um, you know, patience. He preaches patience a lot. Uh, and he did the whole wine TV for a very long time before it blew up. Uh, made him very successful. And then he spun off into another company. I think he was doing it for like a year. You know, and not that many people were watching. It was just kind of like, uh, uh, uh. And he kept at it. Boom, 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 bam. And then it blew up. And that's also from that movie. Uh, There's a really good one about Ray Kroc and Donald. I don't know if you saw it. I forget the name of it. But, you know, basically at the end he was talking about uh, 
comes down to persistence. You know, you got to keep at it. We we'll let people give up, you know, and just keep doing it. You know, most most people uh, give up right before success happens to them in a lot of ways. Uh, so that's what he preaches, you know. And I remember in my own experience with my old YouTube channel, uh, basically I kept doing it. You know, that many views, I kept doing it. I just kept doing it for a long time. And then finally, boom, it blew up. I got just a lot of views, millions of views, my old channel. And so I knew kind of how to do it, um, but I failed really bad. And um, where I failed at, where I think a lot of people on their internet marketers fail at, is, is not the attention, which is a very valuable thing to get someone's attention like yourself. There's a lot of things you could be doing right now. But it has to do with the back end, monetizing it, the, the sales funnel, and what you do with that attention. You have to capitalize on it. If you don't, it, it's just... That's that's really where everything comes down to, in, in my view, from my experience. A lot of it comes down to that. And I'll give you another example. If you look at like the most, I don't know, the, the top ten most viral videos on YouTube. There's that one that says Charlie bit my finger, and it got insane views, like you know, insane millions and millions of views. I don't forget the number, but it's way more than the second one. And I looked at, it, I was like, how much money did they make off of that? And it wasn't that much at all. It, it just, you know, it was pretty interesting. And you can look at some YouTube that got way less views, but they can monetize it much better than it did. Boom. <laughs> it can make, it'll make a lot more, you know. So I thought that's pretty interesting. Um, all right. One more thing I want to talk about, and I'll, I'll let you go, but <laughs> I'm going to ramble in here. But uh, he talks about habits a lot, Gary V. Um now that I'm making like one video a day, that's like my goal. If it like even like last night I went out and I just hung out and for late I had to had to wake up. If I didn't make a video, I just wig out. I just it's such a high priority. I just wouldn't know what to do. So if you know, um, it's like you got to get in the habits. I mean, once you do things for a little bit of time, it just becomes super easy. You know, it's not not difficult at all, really. Um, and of course, I'm always trying to, I, I put the stuff out there, you know, bam, you know, put the content, content, content. I'm doing other social media stuff as well. But then I learn afterwards and try to improve upon what I'm doing kind of a thing. Um, I was listening to another internet marketer. I forget his name. I've been in internet marketing for a while. And uh, he had a very funny story where he would go to these internet conferences. And he talked to this one lady. And, um, and she was like, oh, yeah, I've been to this conference. I've been to this educational. I've been to that guy. I did that. He goes, wow, that's so cool. You know, and, he, and then he asked, so how's your business doing? And you know, she said, oh, well, I'm still looking for the perfect domain name. But, uh, you know, I've still you know, educated myself. So you could over-educate yourself on this, you know, anything, you know, whether it be business or life, and internet marketing especially. You have to go out there and just fail. And then you learn. Um, it comes also down to speed of implementation, Imp <laughs> implementation, you know, uh, and you see this all the time when people go to colleges, you know, and they have some crazy idea and they drop out of college, they implement it and then they make a bunch of money. Boom. Look at Mark Zuckerberg. He took an idea from those brothers, those twins, and then he implemented it. He didn't, he didn't wait on it. He didn't go, ah, let me think about it. Let me learn more. He went and started it and then he became super successful. And think about how that applies to your own life, not just in business and money, but anything. Like, I don't know, have you ever wanted to go and see Italy or, or whatever? Or you see a girl and you're like, oh, I want to talk to her, but I don't. And then you know, you know, opportunity's gone. Uh, speaking from a guy's perspective, I'm like, my, my dad wants to go there. So I'm like, all right, well, let's go book a plane ticket right now. He's like, no, 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 I, I got to do this and I got to do that. And I'm going to put it off. And he doesn't do it. And it's like, you know, we only have so much time on this planet, man. <laughs> I don't know. Are you going to get a, are you going to come back? Maybe as a reincarnated, as another human or a plant? I don't know. But you, you got to jump on things. You know, I'm, I'm in the middle of reading this book, Top Five Regrets of the Dying. I mean, regret, that's something you don't want. I mean, so, and there's a couple of them that's really good. Like, uh, the most popular one was, you know, living your life for what other people want you to do rather than kind of what you want to do, you know, and a lot of it's based on fear. People are scared to go out there and, uh, you know, be true to themselves. And once you overcome that, that, that fear, is, it's, it's a very empowering thing. And that's what being an entrepreneur is so good about. Anyways, 
uh, anyway, just, just I don't want to ramble anymore. But uh, I hope you like this video. I uh, hope you learned something. Um, if you did, please hit the thumbs up button. I I, I really would appreciate that. Um, if you're interested in making some money online, um, it's really good to know kind of what you're doing um, because it's a big shortcut from going out there and doing the wrong stuff. Um, and you have to be careful of that. I, I mean, look at me. Don't, don't, I worked for a while. I, for, you know, doing some of the wrong stuff and it sucks, you know, working and not seeing the results. And it's a learning curve, but you can shorten that learning curve by learning from people who are much better than you. And that's why I really believe, um, in this uh, product, which, you know, I mentioned, you can learn more by clicking the link below. It's really, really good. It goes over some of the most important things, um, that anybody that's going to be into, uh, you know, affiliate marketing, internet marketing should know. Okay. It's very important. I, I highly believe in it because I wish I would have knew about this a long, long time ago. <laughs> All right. So have a great, wonderful rest of your day and bye for now.